Hey everybody, Jason here, and I'm going to do another video about Windows 7 because it is the buzz right now. Like, it is so awesome. And um, I just wanted to talk about Aero Basic. Some slight differences you will see using Aero Basic than you will with Aero Glass. I already went over the, the, the things such as, you know, uh, hovering and those features and the pop up things like this and then you have your normal taskbar or I should say um, task switcher now you may you may not like um, how this new taskbar is with everything all cluttered and stuff now you can actually change that if you don't like just the icons what you can do first of all to change that if you like the classics or whatnot is right click the taskbar click properties and then right here taskbar buttons. You can always combine, which is doing what it's doing here, hide labels, combine when taskbar is full, which is most, you know, standard with, with Vista and um, XP, like right when you install it, and then never combine. So if I want to do, I want those, um, if I want them to actually show the text, what the program name is, I can just click, click uh, co combine when taskbar is full, click apply, there you go. There's that, what you're used to here your applications with the names. So that's pretty awesome. Anyways, so maybe you don't like the glass. Maybe you want to have the basic. Well, yes, there is Arrow Basic and there is Classic Mode still. Bit of a difference, not much though. So right click the desktop, click Personalize, and then uh, right here you got your themes. If you want Windows Basic, or I should say um, Windows 7 basically call it. Click it. And we'll give it a minute here. And there it is. Without the glassy look, so it might work with uh, lower end video cards, even maybe um, older computers. Some other accessibility things that are here too. Um, another thing I'll note, well, this is, uh, this is a slight difference here with um, Windows 7 is when you have things that are grouped it's a bit buggy with this build I have to say um, Windows uh, the Arrow Basic is a bit buggy with this build you're not gonna have that 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 screenshot or thumbnail showing with basic um, it's just gonna show this and it's not going to um, maybe well yeah it's not gonna hide your screens or anything like that because it's basic so all the effects are disabled like I said, some people prefer that. You know, uh, me, I like the full effects. Also, it even still does have the classic by going to Windows Classic, clicking that. And uh, the classic shows up. Now, this taskbar is still fat. Okay, you're going to have to kind of deal with it. It's just like it's a little bit thicker than what people were used to in previous versions of Windows. But it um, doesn't take too much space. You can actually see the clock and everything pretty much fine. So yeah, so this is probably, you know, this is classic, way back to Windows 2000 and whatnot. So yeah, it still has that option. They haven't taken away. The only thing they did take away, though, that I haven't found in this build, maybe it's under my nose, maybe not, um, it does not have the classic taskbar. So you have to deal with this taskbar. So yeah. So here's some ease of access themes for, you know, people that want accessibility features. You just click it. It's really simple. So now I got this black theme, and wow, I feel like I'm running uh, a DOS version of Windows 7 with a GUI. <laughs> it looks inverted too. So what, what I do just to get this, right click and click personalize right in the desktop. It's got other accessibility things that you might be interested in. Ooh, the green. That looks cool. And then black and white. Oh man, that white on the back, on the, the background and all that. Wow, that's hard on the eyes. Holy crap. <laughs> but yeah, it's all right there. You know, all for you. For accessibility and stuff. I wanted to show, I wanted to show the new magnifier because it is awesome, but it keeps glitching out in uh, this beta. So I have sent feedback saying, fix it. It, it caused my aero glass to uh, stop. I actually had to restart a service in services. 
and even restarting the computer didn't fix it. Restarting the computer didn't fix it. I had to restart a service in Windows Services to get it going. It's a glitch with uh, the magnifier, but the new magnifier is pretty cool. So all you have to do too is go to Control Panel. If you want these, um, it's called Ease of Access. The access of what, what used to be accessibility, and you just click it, and it will show you right here. It you know you can't really go wrong you know it it's got what you need and then it has so many options you can set it's even got um, I know I've seen it optimized for blindness it's got you know your um, text-to-speech stuff so it knows what you're clicking on you know it's great for anybody Windows 7 can be for anybody honestly and it runs all my programs that worked on Vista I've tested it everything works it, it, Windows 7 will actually be better for the average consumer no matter what problem you have you know it's got what you need so I just wanted to show that so that this was another video that I did here hopefully you enjoyed this one please check out my other two videos and the other Windows 7 videos that are here to come as well and uh, I'll be showing off some more features that I find out in Windows 7 this is my second day and um, I'm really wow because the wow really does start now with Windows 7 because of the stuff that I've just come across. It's so freaking awesome. It's like, you know, this has got to be probably almost one of the best operating systems that Microsoft has come up with yet. Honestly, um, the beta is awesome. Check it out. Download it. Microsoft.com, you know, get a dev key. Test it out. You will like it. You will. And even Mac users will like it. You might be reconsidering to buy a PC. We'll chat to you later.